ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு அவர் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஒடென்டாலஜி இஸ் த ஸ்டடி ஆஃப் டீத் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரென் ஆக்சுவலி வாட் இஸ் மென் பை ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரென் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் த இன்டர்னல் ப்ரெஷர் கிரியேட்டட் வித் இன் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் டு ரெசிஸ் தி எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ஃபோர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ஓகே இன் சிம்பிள் டேர்ம்ஸ் சி is a force a force act on a body a force act on a body and produces changes in shape or deformation okay before the object changes in the shape a pressure is created within the object to resist this external force to resist this external force or load that is called stress okay the the changes in shape is called strain to be in clear term see all materials are made up of small molecules right likewise the object is made up of full molecules these molecules are bind or connect to each other by a force that is called your cohesive force force or internal force okay internal force this internal force okay this is going to be your stress okay if some force for uh, for example uh, newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction same thing if an external pressure external force or load is acted on a body this molecules are bind by a force right internal force it will somehow resist the external force this this is called internal resistant force okay resistant force this internal resistant force created within the body to resist the external force is called stress okay once the stress exceed the limit and produces change in deformation or change in shape uh, that uh, deformation of an object that is called strain okay normally you, uh, you there are two types of stresses okay two types of stress are there okay one is your normal stress and second one is your shear stress normal stress is nothing but if the force is acting perpendicular to the cross section of the object is called as normal force if it is acting parallel to the cross section of the object means that is your shear stress okay fine uh, in dealing with dental materials you need not to know this classification normal stress and shear stress okay in normal stress you have two things that is your tensile stress and compressive stress compressive stress okay fine let us see each one in detail first of all before going into the entering into the types let us see what is the Uh, formula or how will you uh, identify how much stress the object is undergoing that is you 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 can't measure the stress that that is internal stress created inside the body within the body so instead of measuring the stress we are calculating that by force by area that means the force created in a particular surface area okay by using this formula we are identifying the stress okay this is force per unit area unit area okay 
the um, unit for uh, st uh, stress is pascal okay it is denoted as uh, pascal okay unit then let us see the types in detail okay as i said earlier you have three stresses that is your tensile stress compressive stress and shear stress tensile stress is nothing but see this is a object okay this is an object if the force external force or a load is acting two set of forces acting away from each other this side and this side away from each other the internal stress created at that moment is your tensile stress that is it is formed just because of pulling pulling away from each other okay see for example if you are taking an insulation tape okay insulation is tape uh, for example it, about 5 cm okay 5 cm you are taking an insulation tape okay once you you are giving you are pulling on both the sides keeping your hand and pulling on away from each other okay to certain extent this 5 cm length will remain the same that is because of the internal force created inside within the body that is your tensile stress but once it exceeds beyond beyond the level there will be a change in length it will somewhat elongate this tensile strength is uh, tensile stress results in the or tends in the stretch or elongation of the body okay this changes in shape that is your strain it is defined as deformation or change in length by original length you will identify stress by force by area and strain is by change in length divided by the original length okay this is how you will identify the st strain okay next one is your compressive stress as the name indicates you are compressing a body that is the forces acting two set of forces acting towards each other results in the compression the results in the compression of the body or shortening of the body for example you are taking a cotton pellet or a chewing gum or anything okay and you are compressing with your two hands towards each other okay still certain extent the stress will created and it will res resist okay resist your compression okay that is your compressive strength once it extends it uh, um, ability uh, of uh, i mean uh, the internal strength it will undergo deformation that is your compressive strain okay this is your compressive stress okay next third one it results in the shortening of the body okay and third one is your shear stress what is meant by shear stress as i said earlier the force acting will be parallel to the cross section of the object uh, shear stress is nothing but see this is an object the force will a uh, two set of forces will direct it parallel to each other results in the results in the shear stress okay for example how will you define the shear stress means taking a newspaper okay newspaper and you are cutting it with a scissor okay cutting it with a scissor once you are cutting it with a scissor once you start cutting one side of your paper will go down and another side of your paper will go up which results in the twisting motion okay twisting motion or a um, or a um sliding motion okay one part will slide off the body over another right so that is your shear stress okay this is how the stress and strains are uh classified okay stress is nothing but when a force is act on a body tending to produce a deformation a resistance is developed within the body to the external force that is called your stress stress is identified by stress is equal to force by area that is 
force per unit area there are three types of stresses one is your tensile strength compressive stress and shear stress tensile stress is when a body is subjected to two set of forces away from each other results in the same straight line that tends to stretch or elongation of the body that is your tensile stress if the if there is a change in shape of the body that is your tensile strain compressive stress when a sub when a body is subjected to two set of forces towards each other results in the compressing or shortening of the body that is your compressive stress shear stress is nothing but when a when a two set of forces directed parallel to each other results in the twisting motion or sliding motion of the body that is your shear stress this is one of your important five mark question in your um, uh, prosto i mean second year dental material subject uh, so concentrate in this question i hope you like the video if you have any doubts please um, uh, comment in the comment box okay thank you thanks for watching please subscribe and click the like button